This video is part of the great unboxing! Hello everyone, and welcome to this unboxing video for Rank Busters Project Vril, aka Nazi Killing the Board Game, Project X! One of the two full expansions to my knowledge, what optional purchases that were for the Rank Busters Kickstarter. Um, this might literally be the only thing in there. But also, as with the other two previous videos, the box is just the same thing on the other side. No descriptions or anything. I say this might be the only thing because this is easily going to have the largest model in there. Might be the only miniature, and yeah, um, probably just rules for it. I don't know if there's a campaign, tokens, or anything. I don't really remember much about this or the other expansion, which will be a later video. larger vacuum to it than the other boxes of this game. Alright, so right on the top we've got a new room board sheet, which again, these are double-sided. Uh, this isn't a punch-out or anything like this kind of thing would be in Mansions of Madness. This is actually just the thing. And we've got a component list and rules. Huh, usually the English one's on top. And then we've got the scenario, which is basically the same size, but is made up of multiple pages. Cool. So that's all the rules and everything. We do have some punch outs, uh, which there's not much. A shield token with an arrow on it. And what if I'm correct, our well, doors on this side destroyed doors on the other. Then we have card! Yay! Uh, again, tarot-ish size cards. One of these is French to my knowledge, and the other one is English because this is a French company. All of their updates, as I said in the previous video, have um, one a start in English and then become and then are repeated in French. This is also way too tightly vacuum sealed, and I am just trying to find some way to open it without damaging the cards or draw blood. Ah, there we go. Almost oh blood then, I think. If I ever do that, it would just be a fade or a cut to technical difficulty side. All right, so, interesting. So, um, there are, so it is just the one enemy, but he has five cards to him. Well, they. With head, hold it, there's more than one head in there. Legs, right arm, left arm, and torso. All double-sided except for the torso, with thus a change of stats, I believe. We have a raid card, which again, I don't know what that is different from the scenario. Then we got two raid map cards, so I'm assuming these are ones that would incorporate the tile that came with this singular, singularly. A brand new soldier and engineer card, because these are not all the same, and I believe they're all drawn from the deck with this back, for like what random versions you'll get. And then we've got raid objective, which is project management with a K in that project, and Mission Project X, the summary card, which I don't know how this works. I'm guessing it's uh, by the looks of its stats for the various enemies. And then we have the rest of the box, which is just the one big ass dude. And ah, take. Let me just get the box out of the way for now. Yeah, th this is uh, a bit much extra packaging, just like Giant Ass Cthulhu was up there. Come on, people. Just uh. I just previously unboxed a uh, game, or, well, a bunch of stretch goals to a second Kickstarter game. And they did a really nice thing. And instead of tape, there were basically pushed in notches at the corners of these, and the lid just pops on and off. 
At least in the case of this one, this lid is set up with some space for the cards. That's not where they were, but... Uh... Alright, and... Ha-ba! Go. Boy, this this is a big boy or thing, whatever. Whoo, this this thing is yeah, just a bunch, like it looks like something out of chaos. Nurgle. The faces don't really look that good. They're kind of melty right in there, but otherwise, there's a lot of nice details. I can see where a lot of the assembly gaps are. Like, this one stands out a bit much. A couple of the other ones do, but not that bad, or they are where gaps should be anyway, or look like they should be. But, yeah, big, giant, clumsy-looking hand on one side, spiked and clawed on the other that doesn't even have a thumb or anything like that, just two blades out of what would be the back. A gun on the shoulder... Um, a bunch of machinery on the back, including what I'm assuming is the engine baseline. But yeah, this is just... Ugh. And I like that it has some wear and tear, like intentional wear and tear of just like gouges, bullets, everything like that. Some which look like they might have gone through and not mattered. But yeah. And there is even some on the back, so it's not just like, oh, nobody ever got to shoot this thing from behind if they were just all dead. Like, I imagine this thing's slow and lumbering, but this is easily the biggest model from that game. This is bigger than most models that I have, although this is still smaller than most huge base war machine models and probably on the scale with, in fact, I've got a, here's Calamite right here. Again, still need to paint him. His base is separate for silly reasons. Yeah, that that's still a uh, bigger. So yeah, he. Th this is still smaller than a lot of the mega bosses from Dark Souls. But uh, yeah, that's literally everything. Not a lot to this. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to press that like button. If you think somebody else will enjoy this, feel free to share this video. Either way, I hope this video gets seen more. If you didn't like this video, go and press that dislike button. I won't mind, but please leave a constructive comment as to why. Also, feel free to comment in general, such as if you'd like to see this or other models from the game painted sooner rather than later. And again, like I said in some of the other videos, if you want to see this painted at all anytime soon, you might want to request that. No idea what paint style I'll be using for these guys. Also, if you want to see a board game overview for this or review or anything else like that, also feel free to comment about that. And if you want to see more like this, be it more unboxing videos, my board game overviews, my painting videos, all three of which I'm willing to do for this game, and anything else you might want to see on my channel, feel free to subscribe. Regardless, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.